All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a snap fit sort of joint to combine these two parts here. So this is actually a plant holder I designed where we're gonna have the plant rest in this crevice here, and this is the stake itself. And there's a single hole right here where the snap fit is going to go into and close right on this end. In order for everything to be manifold, it's important, at least in Blender, which is the program I'm using right now, uh, to not use mirror modifiers, as that tends to create issues. So the first thing I'm going to do is press Control R, which allows me to divide this subsection right here. Holding Shift and using the middle mouse button, I can pan around. I'm going to move this a little bit just so I can see where the hole is right there. And I'm just going to try to align this with the hole. And that's about good. So I'm going to press Control R again and align it with this other one over here. We're basically making cutouts that we're going to be extruding later. So let's press Control R again, and this will be the width of one of our snap fits. So I'm gonna make it around here, we can adjust it later, so that's fine. And now we wanna make another one for the second one. And it's just gonna go around right there. We're gonna adjust both of these a bit later. But now I press seven on the number pad to get the top down view. I'm going to press Z to see through everything. And I'm just gonna move this back over roughly where it's going to fit when I actually 3D print this part. And now going to edit mode, I'm gonna press Control R. And now I wanna divide it vertically and align it with the hole. So there's one right there, control R, and align this with the other one. If we extrude this, this one face here, it goes straight through the hole. That's one of our snap fits. The other one is gonna be right here. And really at this part, you can use whatever techniques you want to design this particular step of the snap fit. Now I'm just gonna lower this portion here just to get it as close as I can to the stake itself. If it's difficult to select this here, this little face right there, Make sure faces is selected and then press this button, make it gray. Let's try to get these to be as identical as we can. Now, one thing I like to do is adjust the very end of this. You can see it's this one line right there. I like to push it outward toward the center a little bit to increase the strength when it's actually 3D printed. So I'm gonna do the same to the other side and this is what we get. So I'm gonna lower both of these a little bit more. Now I'm gonna select both of their faces and I'm going to extrude it downward. Then individually, I'm gonna grab this one here, extrude it this way, rotate it, I'm gonna do the same to the other side. And these are gonna be the hooks that are gonna get pushed in towards the center here, and then they're going to clip in, and that should be fine. This design right here should actually work. This will be a working snap fit if you 3D printed this. And that's basically the steps. This is the key design that you're gonna be working towards. Other forms of this are the spherical snap fit, where it's, it's literally just one piece with a rounded edge at the very end. The difference here is that this one can be undone if you just push these two snap fits together again. And here's a post-production video of the finished 3D print, and you can see everything worked out well. I already pressed it into place, and it's actually pretty strong and very easy to do. This is a perfect way to circumvent hot gluing 3D prints together. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this.